Anaya Bastianini is pawning less than two months before the start of the MotoGP World Championship. In an interview with Massa, the rider from Rumini has messages for both his teammates Peko Banyaya and for Marc Marquez, perhaps next season's most awaited rider. He knows he was number one. I don't know at the moment. The results show that Peko is now number one, but we'll see. So in this video, we're going to talk about what Anaya Bastianini just said about Marc Marquez is insane. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. In the past, every time a rider was asked ahead of the start of the season who was going to win the championship, the answer was always the same thing. Marc Marquez was the favorite, followed by a long list of all the others who could potentially win that season. Marc Marquez is, with eight world titles won, the most title awarded rider on the MotoGP grid, by far. And even away from his best form since the end of 2019, He's considered by many to be the big name to take into account in the Premier class. Amid ongoing injury woes for Marquez, that stretch back to July 2020, it hasn't necessarily been the go-to answer of late, to be fair. But if this week's Ducati launch is anything to go by, then we are absolutely and firmly back in the territory, where the six-time MotoGP world champion is seen as the first and foremost threat to all of his rivals. Anea Bastianini is smiling in his new all-red overalls. After the third place in the championship obtained in 2022, the rider from Rimini is ready to take another step forward alongside the world champion Francesco Bagnaia in the ranks of the official Ducati team. A big responsibility, but also a challenge that Anea is ready to face with enthusiasm, as he said on the sidelines of the team presentation in Madonna di Campiglio. For me, Mark is Mark. He's won eight titles, said Anea Bastianini, as the covers were taken off the new Desmodici. He'll be at 100% because he improved in the last part of the season and was fast, and it will be so difficult to battle with him. It's not only Mark, but also Peko Banyaya, Fabio Quattararo, Johan Mir. We have a lot of names. New motorcycle, new team, new technicians, and a new box mate. Everything has changed around Bastianini, but not the approach of Anea, who has clear ideas on how to face this new adventure and the cumbersome presence of Banyaya. After all, Anea has no intention of stopping giving Peko a hard time. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. Banyaya considers that several riders will be strong, including Oliveira, leaving Ducati to have a maximum commitment in defending the conquests. Many riders, Fabio Quattararo, Anea Bastianini, Marquez, I think Franco Morbidelli will be fine. Oliveira with the Prilia, it will be very competitive. I think Binder will be competitive. I'm sure I'm forgetting someone, but it'll be very difficult. Our goal is to be better, and we have to try to defend what we did last year. And I will try to do it with all my abilities. Tensions with Banyaya could increase during the World Championship. For now, I've always had a good relationship with Peko. The more Italian riders that are in front of us, the more interesting the situation will be. It's been a long time since there's been a duel between Italians, which is what everyone would like. It is obvious that I would also like to risk the title with Peko. It would be an incredible thing, but everything is going well between us. Whether or not Marquez can in fact fight for the title remains to be seen, and it's likely not something we're going to be sure of until we see him ride the RC213V in anger at the first round of the championship in late March. But even if he is on a fast bike, it does seem somewhat wild to suggest that he would still start the season as the absolute favorite, given the strength of the current field. While the list of contenders might not quite be as long as Banyaya makes it out to be, it's nonetheless impossible to not count Quattararo, Banyaya, Bastianini and Marquez as at the very least starting the year in the mix. So that's it. Please like, share and comment with your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.